now we learn about defining our slab section i'll click here to define slab section already here two default slab are given i will delete them and by clicking here modify i'll modify it slab will provide two to three slab one for a staircase another for normal slab another for lift okay so i mean you know lift so here for slab first of all i will consider five inch i don't know what will be the size i'm uh, defining as a default value and then we'll change everything on by r and here i'll select that one modeling type we will use scale pin just click okay copy of that property slab start gauge let's take it six inch six inch and everything is okay click off a copy of properties lift code slab for lift code okay i mean where our meshing will resist for our meshing dome clear so this is the everything is okay i will consider that first eight inch i don't know what will be the um, size it will depend on design but i'm just con considering that and there are many things we will not use that now give okay so we have provided a slab size now if i go here for code and if you see you have to understand about that calculation as per your academic knowledge but now we have equation here and by using that equation we are able to find out a minimum slab thickness so we'll use that when we'll go for slab design but now just understand only one thing that our slab thickness can be when we have slab with beam spanning okay with beam spanning then it can be 1 to 5 hundred twenty five mm or it can be 19 mm okay that means uh, 4 point or 3 point something inch it can be 3 point something and this is 5 inch okay so uh, usually we will use 5 inch in a starting then if we are able to use less thickness then we'll use use that otherwise we'll use five inch minimum so that's why we have provided here minimum five inch so lift course slab eight inch eight inch okay okay 